Hi everyone, we will start with this video to our ANSYS mechanical course, at least the introduction courses, and you will get a quick review with this video and also a quick start for the ANSYS workbench, ANSYS mechanical. So uh, at the end of this video, you will learn also how to create an analysis like this one, and we will take a look at the steps one by one. So uh, let's begin. Yeah, I was creating another video, but I didn't like my voice and explanations. That's why I created one more time. So we will start again. I hope this time I will explain very easily and plain way. This is the first screen. We start our project, our analysis. So I created a static structural uh, analysis, so you can also do it. But uh, in the beginning, I need to explain how we took it from, uh, from nowhere to here. So the first step is using the left part. We have here analysis systems, component systems, custom systems, and so on. So we are using uh, those uh, options to start our analysis and we will drag and drop them into our project schematic. So uh, this place is very useful and we can run multiple analysis at the same time by combining the components and the systems uh, easily. So some of the outputs can be an input for other um, analysis or the geomet geometries and the other things might be used for different uh, analysis at the same time uh, without calculating over and over and it might help us save some time. How it starts, how it works, we easily just click on it, uh, the left click button with the mouse and drag and drop here. As you can see, we have some question marks here instead of having these check marks because I already finished one, but this one is beginning from scratch. So we need to define them first and I will show them. As we can see, we, we have different separate components here and those are the steps we need to follow actually. And we can also set up, um, make our setup with dragging and dro dropping the same individual uh, components. Like here, for example, we have geometry, geometry, I drag and drop here. And then we have model, for example, model was also here, as I remember. So just a second, I need to find it. Ah, mechanical model. And then we can bring another um, analysis systems um analysis, analysis system here for for example transit thermal analysis here so how can we do the same uh, with the separate components easy we combine them like this geometry data will connect it to here and here we will have model as output we will use this as an input for the transient thermal analysis also we can use the same model data for static structural analysis also this structure you can do however you want and depending on your needs so there are also some differences i need to tell for example here we see square and here we see round shape what's the difference what does it mean exactly uh, here it means the square means we are using this component directly into here without changing or calculating something as it, as it is. We are using as it is there. So there is no difference. It's the same thing. Actually, we don't need this one. So the second step here, we see round shape. It means we need a calculation, analysis or something to get some output first. Then we can use this output as an input here. So it is, that's why it is round shaped. This is also important information. Now we are deleting unnecessary parts. 
for this video. It's going to be a quick start for you. You can also learn very quickly because uh, if you know what you are doing, which um, which details you need for running an analysis, you can use all of them with the same uh, way. You know, it's going to be so similar by dragging and dropping and defining the uh, variables. So we need to define the geometry first. We right click on it and also we import the geometry. Most of the time we are using the geometry from uh, other sources. So we are not designing on ANSYS easily. That's why mm -hmm. we will import. After importing it, we need to define a material. Also, we do it by clicking on engineering data two times. So after clicking on it, we see uh, uh, already defined material, structural steel. If you don't define anything or if you don't have any materials from the earlier uh, studies, you will get this one as a default, but you can change it or create another material here by copying and pasting it or changing the information easily. So what will we do is click in, we will click on this tab here, engineering data sources. Then we will get the libraries here. For example, here you will see a lot of options. You will choose the material as you like. And general materials, I just clicked on it and aluminum alloy I will use for this um, example. Here we see a plus sign with a yellow color. We click on it and then we have another sign here, like it's already booked or came to our structure. But still, it is not defined. It's just there. We have just um, an option to set it. So the next step after the geometry tab here, it's OK which you double click on it because all of them will take you to the same place as is mechanical. So we will click on model, for example. If you would click on the other ones, it would also take you to the same place. That's why it's not so important which one you choose. But the important thing is to define everything here, what we need. So it will take a little bit time, depending on the hardware and the other uh, differences. So it will... Yeah, it's loaded. Next step is defining the material. Here I click on the geometry and then I see on the left side the material option. Here we have structural steel and we will click on here this small arrow and choose the aluminum alloy. Now it is assigned. Now we need to complete the other steps. As you remember, um or you don't have to remember i will show you now we included a uh, material to the model and we will set up yeah, this model means actually the here we will have mesh and when we update it um it will create the mesh structure automatically um yeah like this one so we can change them also, but it is another step. Like I wanted to show you just uh, this sign comes with this update. After that, we will create a setup and create solutions and see the results. These steps, for these steps, we need to create the uh, boundary conditions and loads actually. So for that, we are clicking on analysis settings or here somewhere, as you like. But the thing here, when we click on this tree, some other place, we will get other tools here. That's why you might not see now in somewhere. And if you click on the right place, you will get the right tools. Another important information um, here, there was, um, old versions so the user interface is a little bit somehow different 
but you will get all the tools all the time here on this tab. Um, sometimes more complicated way or let's say more modern way or like traditional way. So it is like your choice. You can change this also, but it's not the subject of this video. We'll just use the important uh, steps now for a quick start. Here we will um, assign the supports. For this one, we will use frictionless support. And for that purpose, we will just zoom with the middle mouse uh, wheel and click on here first. Then I am clicking on control, choosing this surface, and we are coming here to, to limits. With this, you will not lose time much and it will automatically choose the necessary surfaces. And on the left part in the scope, geometry scope, we will apply it. We have chose uh, the first one. We have chosen this. Then also for easy selection, you can use this control F or uh, choose a face selection and pressing by uh, control button on the keyboard. You can also choose them. Then you can also choose frictionless support. The question why is has always an answer because all of them has a definition and like theoretical background why we choose them or not. Uh, but as I told, this will also take time, like maybe 15 minutes or so explaining each. That's why for now we will apply uh, frictionless support, which is going to affect on the normal and uh, yeah, the details we will talk later. Yes, now the supports are ordered, but if you click on this and do nothing, then you will get a support here. You might get an error or something. That's why you need to delete unnecessary ones. We already defined the uh, supports like here. Also, the next step is the load. The load here, you will use pressure. Also, we need to uh, choose the geometry first. Then still we are applying that way. So it's ordered and magnitude is going to be like 1.1 megapascal error. And we are ready, actually. Now we will start with the button solve. And I will show you what we did on the other screen. So here, as you see, all of them are done, but we need to see it. Now we don't see it. To to see the solution, we will just click on the solution on the tree view, and we will include, for example, total deformation here and equivalent stress, for example. Then we this sign tells you we need to solve it. Like after clicking on it, we get these views, and also because we are on the equivalent systems, it will show this with the video. We stop here. Also, total deformation is also seen here. Another important thing, um, probe. You can use the probe button to see a specific point. So how things goes, like this one, for example. Yeah, then finished yes like that this is the quick start for the ansys mechanical it was just it's not gonna take more effort i think and if you don't choose the faces correctly you will get some error messages and maybe you cannot continue you should choose correctly and yeah that's all for this video see you on the other videos